nation believed that fair housing would in our time become the unchallenged law of this land. And indeed, this bill has had a long and stormy trip. Gentlemen, Martin Luther King was shot and was killed tonight in Memphis. The death of the prophet of nonviolence set off the worst outbreak of arson, looting, and criminal activity in the nation's history. Washington's ghettos burned within a few blocks of the nation's capital. The life of a man who symbolized the freedom and faith of America has been taken. And no words of mine can fill the void of the eloquent voice that has been still. But this I do believe deep. The dream of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. has not died with him. President Johnson was willing to speak up and say, we have to pass a fair housing bill. Hello, Mr. President. Yes, Dick. We're in trouble. We need some help. Yes. Uh, I'm afraid of that. Federal troops, for the first time since the Civil War, took up positions to guard government buildings. Nothing's probably touchier than your own neighborhood and your own home or your own apartment. The administration, which supported the bill, said this has no chance. The other stuff is okay, but this will kill any politician that touches it. Well, I just could not live beside them. I don't feel that they should be oppressed. But I moved here because it was a white community. I have uh, two daughters and two sons. And if there's too many colored people around here, I definitely will get out. I think that all well, the property values will immediately go down if uh, they are allowed to move in here in any number. It seems as though our country is pulling apart into separate societies where whites have jobs and Negroes have unemployment, where the middle class lives in suburbs and the poor are left in the ghettos, where one group of Americans looks upon another group of Americans with growing mistrust and even dread. Then the bill went over into the House Rules Committee and under the chairmanship of the famous Judge Smith, a right-wing segregationist from Virginia, he wouldn't hold hearings on it, he would, he would take the bill home so nobody could act on it, and we were running out of time. Thousands flowed through the rainy streets of Memphis this day, finishing a march that Dr. King planned to lead in support of striking garbage workers. How many men must die before we can really have a free and true and peaceful society?
the death of Martin Luther King is a tragic thing, but no legislation should be passed as a memorial to anyone. In spite of the riots, I am going to support this legislation with all the vigor that I possess. The laws that we pass up here are for all time. The Martin Luther Kings come and go. The public reaction to this horror gave the sensible members of the committee a compelling argument that the House Rules Committee had to report that bill out. And I think that's, that's how we got our bill. They just didn't dare bottle it up any longer. And I have a dream that one day, Negroes will be able to buy a house anywhere that their money will carry them. At long last, this afternoon, fair housing for all is now a part of the American way of life. Democracy's work is being done. And the bell of freedom rings out a little loud. We have come some of the way, not near all of it. Fight still goes on because we unfortunately have the laws, but we don't have the enforcement. That we have changed, but we still have the same kinds of discrimination. The U.S. Commission on Civil Rights said today that efforts by federal agencies to end housing discrimination have been generally superficial or incomplete. President Carter has ordered federal agencies to use all means possible to strengthen fair housing programs. For the first time, people with disabilities and families with children will be protected from housing discrimination. President Reagan signed legislation today designed to toughen up the nation's fair housing laws. Why did you take part in this demonstration today? Just because there was a huge crowd or did you have any personal reason? Well, I, I took part in this uh, march today because of Martin Luther, Martin Luther King and what he stood for, um, because this march is what he died for. Do you know what he stood for? Yes. He stood for nonviolence and peace for all men of all kinds. And I think if he died for it, I could carry out what he started.